Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 100 for Wednesday, June 1st, 2016, Photo Management. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Automatic, the connected car company that improves your driving and integrates your car into your digital life. For more information, visit automatic.com slash twit and enter the code twit to get 20% off your purchase. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Now, I fully realize that I do a lot of episodes involving photography, but we use our phones as cameras so often that it's a rich category to explore. What can I say? So today, I've found three apps that make managing that gigantic collection of photos somewhat easier. Sharing those pictures with people can be a challenge, and I've got a great app for you there. And Also, taking that huge box of old photos that's taking up space in your garage and archiving them in the digital world. Yes, I've got an app for that too. And photo management, I've got three apps actually that we're going to check out right now in today's roundup. I know at least for myself that I take a ton of pictures. I get swept up in the thought that by taking lots of pictures now, I'll have plenty to choose from later. But it turns out plenty to choose from actually creates a huge obstacle that can be difficult to maneuver later just in sheer volume of pictures taken. Slidebox is an app that aims to help you manage that massive task. You'll be shown one image from your camera roll at a time. If you wanna keep that picture that you're looking at, you swipe it left and you can maneuver left and right really back and forth as many times as you want through your camera roll and nothing will happen to those pictures. They'll stay there. If however, you want to trash that picture, you don't need it, swipe it up and it sends it careening into the trash can up at the top. You can also create albums down below. So when you encounter a picture that fits into an album that you've created, you just tap that appropriate album button and it'll send it right there in no time you're going to have eliminated unnecessary duplicates and misfires, and you're left with only the cream of the crop. Now, hit up the trash can to make extra sure none of those are actually keepers, and when you're ready to get rid of them, delete them for good. Now, doesn't it feel good to be a bit less of a digital pack rat? Slidebox can be found in the Play Store for free. Sometimes photos just sit on your device or on your computer and you know deep down inside that there are plenty of snaps that your friends and your family would love to have for themselves. Check out Photo Circle. This is an app that's all about creating shared albums so everyone can have the pictures for themselves. From the app, I'm going to go ahead and create an album or a circle as they call it. Let's call this Twit. Here I'm given the option of inviting friends to the album by sending them a link. I'm going to go ahead and save that for later. So I'm going to tap the camera button and I can, yes, take a picture to add it immediately. Uh, or I'll simply select from the gallery, which is what I'm going to do right now. Next, I'll pick the photos to include with this twit related gallery. Anything from work. Sure. Why not? I'll just throw it all in there. And when I'm done, I'll go ahead and tap to continue. Now you're going to see those progress meters on each image kind of light up as those pictures are uploaded to the photo circle cloud to reside inside that circle. Now I can add people to the album here so that they too can check out those pics and download for themselves. I can send them a link and anyone with that link can then view the circle and those members can also add their own photos to this album and I will get a notification anytime they do that. If a person happens to be standing next to me and wants in, I can just give them a pin from the app for instant access. And finally, and this is pretty interesting, if you're planning a big event, you can create a six digit pin in advance and put it on the invite to your event. And now all your attendees will have what they need to share their pictures with you when the event is over. Photo Circle is free in the Play Store right now. 
So you say you've got a big box filled with old photos from your childhood days, eh? Or maybe not you children of the digital age, but even you might have a closet full of photos from your parents' heyday when pictures were actually printed on photo paper for preservation. The app called Heirloom will help you bring those old snaps into the digital world with a few key features that make the process pretty easy. The most important part is grabbing a stack of pictures that make you look really nerdy when you were very young. For me, this was pretty easy to do. Now, tap the camera button and you'll get started. You put that Polaroid picture down on the table and make sure it's well lit, but make sure the light isn't coming from directly above. You don't want to see that reflection in the image. And you might want to angle a slight bit too if the picture is glossy and you'll avoid your reflections. But don't worry, the app's going to clean this all up. Make sure all four corners are are in the shot and then take the picture. Now after processing, you'll see that Heirloom has straightened the image out and cropped inward to clean things up. It does all this automatically for you and you can toggle their auto enhance processing, which basically adds a little bit of contrast and color correction. And crop and rotate controls are there if you actually want to go in yourself and adjust them. If you want any filters, you can tap the heirloom button and apply at will. And when you like what you see, you save it and now it's part of your camera roll. Throw them into an album if you like, a digital album this time. And once you have a nice collection, you can share them with friends and family in the groups section, complete with commenting for each picture. Heirloom is perfect for Throwback Thursday. Find it for free in the Play Store. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but in one of those pictures, my family, we had a really nice, what we thought was a big screen CRT television coupled with a bitchin' Betamax machine. We bet on beta, Everyone else was picking sides and they bet on the format VHS and well, we ended up losing. Ultimately, we had to get a VHS like the rest of the world, uh, but that's that's just the breaks. All right, uh, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode and that is Automatic. Chances are your car hasn't fully kept up with technology and that is where Automatic comes in. It's a small adapter that turns any car into a connected car. You just plug the automatic adapter into the same port that your mechanic uses to diagnose engine problems, and then it just opens up a world of possibilities for you. Say you want to know how much it's going to cost for that little trip to the grocery store and back. Automatic can actually track the mileage of every little trip you take and convert that into a dollar amount, which can be incredibly eye-opening, by the way. It works on nearly every car made after 1990. It takes minutes to install and connect to your iPhone or your Android device over Bluetooth. You can get real-time performance data. There's audio alerts that signal when to ease off the gas and brake pedals and help you avoid high speeds. Their commute analyzer actually determines when you should leave for your destination and how you can save money by making your commute more efficient. Automatic also lets you keep track of your fuel mileage and will allow you to set custom low fuel warnings so you're never stranded. And if you happen to have that pesky check engine light uh, flashing before your eyes, automatic will actually tell you what it means before you take your car into the shop. Keep track of, uh, you know, if you have kids, keep track of their driving stats with automatic, <laughs> whether they want you to or not. They've even got a 24-7 crash response feature so you can feel secure knowing automatic is keeping your loved ones safe on the road at all times. And for Android phones... If you choose, Automatic can set your phone to do not disturb mode and disables your keyboard while you're driving. That'll reduce interruptions and reduce the urge to text. Dashboard web app here provides granular information, lets you export your trips if you want that information outside of the app. You can easily file it. business expenses with apps like Concur and Expensify. Automatic app platform also integrates with Amazon Echo, Nest, uh, your mechanic, FreshBooks, If This Then That, and more, and supports Apple Watch and Pebble. Tons of support all around. There are no monthly fees or subscriptions required with Automatic, and they will never sell your data. And what it's really all about is linking your car to your connected devices that power your life. Integrate your car in a smart way with all of that technology. Automatic is normally $99.95, but when you use our special offer code TWIT, you're going to save 20%. Go to automatic.com slash TWIT for more information and to purchase, and you can use offer code TWIT to save 20% off the regular purchase price. That's automatic.com slash TWIT, and we thank them for their support. Up next 
Yes, another one of those the Uber of apps. This time, it's for your health. Pretty important stuff. In this week's big app, we're gonna have to make a little bit of an assumption because I won't be testing it out to its fullest, at least not to the end point. You'll know what I mean in a second, but before we get there, let's show it off. This is an app called Heal. Think of what Uber and Lyft have done with the on-demand ride-sharing economy. Well, Heal aims to do the same for in-home doctor visits. I've registered my own account here, answering some basic information uh, questions about myself, as you can see on my profile. Now, Heal serves a few limited locations at the moment, so you got to be in a couple of locales to start. Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, Orange County, Oakland, Berkeley, and the South Bay Peninsula down to San Jose. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't reach up to here, uh, to Petaluma, but I'll just go ahead and assign my address to be my old work address during my CNET days to show off the app. If I needed a doctor's house call, I can fire up Heal, enter my address, and uh, some instructions on how to get in if there's you know something complicated at the front door. I can select myself as a patient, though I can set this up for other people, and fill out a few more details on my condition. Why do I need a doctor? Am I sick? Am I injured? Do I need a flu shot? Do I need a physical? Something else? I can go ahead and enter in any associated symptoms with that request and all of the important, and this is very important to them, payment information uh, for the visit. In this case, the house call would cost me $99, though I can enter in insurance information if that's going to help and I would just pay the copay. And then I would request a doctor, which I'm not actually going to do for obvious reasons. I don't need a doctor right now, uh, but I would be guaranteed to see a doctor in less than two hours during the regular business time. Now, Heal's doctors are licensed, they're background checked, they're provided through an independent company called Heal at Home Medical. There's an Uber for everything these days. Mark down an Uber for doctor visits on that list now. Check it out if you live in one of those areas that I listed off and save yourself a trip to the doctor's office next time. Find Heal in the Play Store for free. In order to see that app review through, I would have to A, live in San Francisco again, and B, be sick. And honestly, I'm pretty happy to not be either of those things right now. So if you check out Heal in your area, please send me a mini review of your experience. I'm very curious to know how it goes. Arena at twit.tv. And I'll go ahead and include it on an upcoming episode if you do that. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. Like I said, you can also post those to the subreddit androidapparena.reddit.com. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific, following tech news today at twit.tv slash live. And a new episode appears later that evening in the feeds and the show page. That can be found at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I will see you next week in the arena.